Hi everyone and let me welcome you to another update on the DAMS eMedicos app. Now my question to you is and I want you all to tell me what do you need when you are preparing for a competitive exam? You need tracking. You need somebody to tell you what is it that I am doing right, what are my weak zones, what are my weak areas, what are my strong points, where do I need to put my effort and how am I progressing in my test, in my ability to do MCQs in a, over a period of time. And at DAMS, we work very deep when it comes to data analysis. And here I am to present to you a new tool in your My Courses section. When you go to your My Course section on the app, on the top, you will see a section called as My Study Analysis. When you click on My Study Analysis, immediately you will first see an overview. How many tests are totally present in my online test series? How many have I done so far? How many question modules are there in my DQB GOAT edition? And how many I have done so far? Then the second important thing is we need to have discipline. We need to have a streak that, okay, I am a, anybody who is working every day wins. Trust me, this is the truth of life. Anybody who is working every day wins. If you are not working every day, you are not winning. So the next tool you will see will be maintain your streak, where you can maintain your weekly streak of giving test, doing question bank, attending live classes, and doing the back to basics recorded lectures. Every time you do a significant activity, this streak will be filled up, which will tell you that you need to fill up the streak. I need to balance my day where I'm using some recorded lectures, some live classes, some question banks, some tests. I need to be doing all of it. Anybody who's doing a mixture of three things, lectures, testing and question bank is winning. So can we maintain a streak? So this is the second part of your study analysis. And the third part is a reward that who are the most consistent student? Who is the student who is doing the maximum number of test series and who has attempted maximum number of question bank modules? This is a dynamic leaderboard where the number, the leader would change almost, you know, every week, every month. But you get to know, okay, if you get featured here, this tells you that you are a very consistent performer. Beyond this, we'll go deep. To do go deeper into the analysis, you need to see, you'll see a button here saying view my detailed analysis. So let me go through it. So when you click on the detailed analysis button, this is the kind of graphs that you start seeing. The first graph that you will see will say subject wise strongest to weakest accuracy level. Now if I see the accuracy level of this student, you can see on the top the previous year questions because probably he has done them before, he's seen them before or is able to do them in a more accurate manner as compared to when I see them in the subject wise modules. And one look at this, I can already see this student looks to be a weak in anatomy, radiology, shorter subjects, ophthalmology. You can see the simplest explanation which is telling you in my question bank practice, what are my zones where I am more accurate at. I believe this is the most important graph. That is why I have kept it at the top of your module. What is my most strongest subject and what is the zone that I am weak at? Now, if I am a student looking at this graph, I already know that, okay, I am good at previous year questions. I need not do them multiple times again. But ophthalmology I am weak at, pediatrics I am weak at. Can I add a TND to it or my SWT or extra effort into this? And look at the graph here. You can see you're weak in pharmacology. Now, this is a big subject. This is immediately telling you that, okay, in my next grand test to improve, I need to be doing more of pharmacology. Now, look at the second graph. This tells you uh, in a graphical manner, how many are you doing right and how many are you doing wrong. And it is all a subject-wise representation. Throughout the question bank, you can see at one look, which bars are longer and it gives you the idea okay how many i'm doing right how i'm doing wrong the first graph is only giving percentage this is giving you right and wrong so that means if you leave the question it will be zero but if it is wrong it will be counted in the red bar so you can see the accuracy tracker immediately and it will give you an idea that okay the, which are my longer red bars where do i need to put my efforts to improve because people who work on weaknesses they improve and they score better in the real exam now we went on deeper to it now what we have created is let me just show you now suppose in a subject like biochemistry you have different modules let me just show you different modules there is a module called as regulation of gene expression recombinant dna technology enzyme clinical vignettes nucleotide metabolism dna and you can see so and so forth now this is the most amazing feature of the analysis you can actually at one look see 
विच सब टॉपिक्स इन दी क्वेश्चन बैंक एम आई वीक एट वेयर आर माई ग्रीन बार्स लॉन्गर वेयर आर माई रेड बार्स लॉन्गर वेयर डू आई नीड टू पुट माई टाइम and once you know where to put your time you will win people who are putting their time on to productive things are winning and people who are putting their time on without any idea like running on a treadmill reaching nowhere you need to reach to your destination and you need to look at the analysis this is a more deeper analysis the first analysis was subject wise which subject am i weak at but that is not good enough which sub topic am i weak at okay and so this kind of graphs they give you an idea on the accuracy in the sub module all you need to do is you need to just toggle here and subject select the subject so let me just try with radiology for this particular student and i can see that the student has better answers in breast imaging and you can see the sub topics chest x ray you know you have made a lot of mistakes in chest x ray this tells you that i need to go back to the dams class notes to the video of the chest x ray i need to look at that video so this is a deep topic wise module wise analysis and then we went on further now you can even see select a module of suppose i select ini ct previous year questions so i can see in the psychiatry ini ct pyq i am getting 55% correct and you get to know okay okay which pyqs which sub topic you can analyze deeply so earlier your analysis was i am doing bad in radiology but now the analysis become which topic in radiology i am weak at which topic i am strong at so that you can apply the fix it is just like precision medicine in precision medicine what happens is you are not treating every patient in the same manner you are looking at the genetic makeup of each patient and trying to find which drug is more likely to help this patient and which drug is more likely or less likely to cause toxic effects in this patient or the side effects will they be more will they be less you can see by the genetic makeup of the patient this is called precision medicine can i offer you the same precision medicine for your neat pg and fmg preparation why do people fail in fmg exam why do people you know not score well in neat pg because they don't know what they are weak at but can i give it to you in form of data can i give you a test wise percentile that how you are performing in your fmg mocks how you are performing in your grand test what is your percentile in the subject test what is your percentile in the class test and then we went on to do something more we wanted to see what kind of ranks are you doing cumulatively now in every grand test you have a rank system but now we wanted to see what is your cumulative rank in your tests like for example this student has a all india cumulative rank of 1766 and a delhi rank so we have also filtered the students with the states because in the end when you are going for your pg seat you need to have a state wise list as well so all the time you are seeing how you are performing in the test as compared to your peer group now we went forward now you can compare yourself you can compare yourself to the rank 1 you can compare yourself to you know uh, you know any rank you can just use the slider and see how the others who have been rated or ranked higher than you in the test are performing then you have to just analyze you know you want to see the score of your so this is your score this is the topper score then you want to see the accuracy what is the difference in the accuracy level of yours and the topper how many questions did they attempt how many questions they did not attempt so you will see different sort of graphs based on your score accuracy and you can compare with the topper so this guy is above average but not as good as the topper you can immediately get a visual impression there is a cumulative leaderboard as well you're not only seeing them you can name them you know these are the guys who are doing better the boys and girls who are doing better than us then we went on to see the journey now on the dams test series platform you have number of tests far more than any other platform and they are at the difficulty level of the real exams they are totally mimicking your neat pg fmg ini set exam there are different kind of mock tests for fmg exam grand test class test ini ct mock test so you, there are different buttons you can just press all tests and you can see your journey of all test in terms of your percentages how you are performing is there any dip what where is the dip and you can just analyze your journey so if i just click i want to see only my grand test journey so i just click on the grand test button and now the journey changes to how i have been performing uh, percentage wise in my grand test you can see uh, some play to happening some ups and downs and this is how the real life is but you can see some big dips maybe that particular test you were not prepared but you get to know 
and that is the entire idea of this you know sequence and we have not stopped there you can cumulatively see how you have been doing in your different grand test how many correct how many wrong how many skipped and your percentage of correct answers you can go and do a deep dive into any of your tests by just a flip of a button so what we have done is we have now created a study analysis tool where we are doing a deep dive into your data and i feel as a teacher i feel if you show me your study analysis i can guide you more better and you know maybe you may need me you may not need me because you can actually see yourself as well so in the nutshell what we have built for you is there is a streak tool where you can maintain your streak we give you the checklist for your discipline there is a consistent performer award where the most consistent performers are shown on the app soon we will come up with some prizes also to mo motivate and encourage you there is a question bank subject wise accuracy subject wise weak area strong area one look and topic wise analysis of the question bank where you know which topics am i weak at where do i want to work which videos i want to see which lectures i want to attend there is a test wise comparison there is a test wise leaderboard and we have not stopped there there is a entire journey which is represented as a graph in your test series where you can see how you have been performing in the previous test at one click of a button you can actually see your entire journey and i believe this is going to be the biggest update on your app and we are here to make a meaningful difference we are building we are building the india's largest medical education based platform and we are totally innovating i am totally committed to online education and i'm here to tell you that we are the only platform with the live classes every day 5 pm we are the only platform with the question bank with video solution and i here i am bringing to you the only platform with the most detailed analysis of your performance where the data is guiding you all the time what is it that i need to do what is it i need to work on and improve your graph going upward do remind let me remind you of the line that i always say apna time aayega nahi apna time analysis ke sath mehnat ke sath kamzori ke upar kaam karke apna time apun khud laega i wish you all the best keep rocking